surveillance security smuggling terrorism and environmental damage are the main challenges when it comes to maritime security to address these problems sagar defense engineering has revolutionized the maritime sector by developing high level and efficient technology that can serve the nation and humanity to bring positive change around the world Hello everyone this is Prashi Tiwari for SME Futures and today we are interacting with the former officer of the Merchant Navy Captain Nikunj Parashar who is the founder and the CEO of Sagar Defense Engineering to know what inspired him to start this company and what is his future plans So uh, Nikunj thank you for your time uh, we would start with the first question uh, share a bit about yourself and your journey as an entrepreneur Uh, I am a master mariner. I sailed for 14 years out at sea, and the biggest challenge as a sailor uh, when you are there, you stay out of at sea for months. So every time you go back, uh, you know, out at sea, and if there is a problem at your house, uh, you know, you just can't come back home. And this was a problem statement which kept going in my mind. So how could you know you could turn these ships unmanned, the biggest cargo ships unmanned? And that led to me to step into the journey of entrepreneurship into autonomous shipping. So, along with my wife, uh, I joined the career of developing unmanned systems, uh, maritime systems, and and this is what has led to the formation of Stargate Defence Engineering, which is today. So, what is your business model, and what is the USP of Stargate Defence Engineering? Uh, when we talk about uh, USP, is, is we are a hardware and a software. Now, Genesis Boat in a Box is a hardware which is software integrated and which is platform agnostic. That means this hardware and software could, uh, you know, take a boat and you could turn it unmanned for autonomy. You could take up an underwater vehicle and can bring in autonomy, and the same way the drones. So the same hardware could go across different platforms. Now, when we started off in early 2015 and 16, uh, and we went into the market to, you know, sell this value proposition, people said it's too good to be true, and they did not believe. So we started with unmanned surface vehicle, and that was the first uh, business case where we worked with the Indian Navy, and uh, we proceeded. Parallelly, we saw the home domestic market in drone sector started picking up, and and that's where we entered the drone market. Today, while we are trying to establish as one of the third largest drone player in the country, uh, we are also building autonomous underwater vehicle. So we work in all the three domains: that is surface, maritime, uh, and in maritime underwater. Uh, so talk a bit about the. products the so that Sa- sagar defense Inger- engineering has made and what makes it unique when compared to other players in the same segment so the first product which sagar defense engineering has uh, made is unmanned surface vehicle which has our own kit of autonomous systems called boat in a box genesis uh, we are the first indian uh, company and in southeast asia to develop a product of this kind which could go out at high high seas on high speed operations like intelligent surveillance reconnaissance operations or mine counter measures or anti submarine warfare having capability with different payloads not only this uh, this product has led to us with partnership with israeli aerospace industries where they are bringing in the payloads for these operations whereas the core technology remains in the internet so we tech remains in it parallel to this uh, the other market which has helped us and we are third in the country uh, when we look at the market scale is the aviation business which is in terms of drones for army navy and air force so almost every warship has a drone which is called spotter in in the technical term and these can land on take off from the big ship this in itself brings a different kind of capability because here not only the drone but the hardware which is enabling it to land and take off from a moving warship while carrying out the operation brings us that special usp uh, which right now in the country is only with us and it's a complete home grown technology so these are two technologies which has helped sagar defense engineering to scale greater heights so okay. so which all sectors are you try uh, targeting to create products for so as you would have understood till now sagar defense is is a lot concentrated right now in the defense sector and more into maritime and army uh, what we are also looking parallel to get into is uh, paramilitary forces Uh, and as well as into the commercial logistic drone space now commercial logistic drone space is something which is very close to us and the reason for this is varun ma now varuna is the first country's uh, fully human carrying craft which was uh, actually showcased to the honorable prime minister last year on 18th of july during swamlabhan uh, which was carried out at janpath uh, by the indian navy 
so now uh, this is a platform which is being used for logistic purpose in the indian navy space from between warship to warship we are also looking at bring this technology into the commercial domain it is going to go into parts the first part and the first phase of induction into commercial space is going to be in logistic sector for hub and spoke delivery where these varuna could carry up to 150 to 200 plus of cargo in the second phase and that depends on the regulation how it prevails in the country with the dgc and moca we would be looking for casualty evacuation sure. great uh, so how many types of drones have you created till now so as of now while we speak uh, in the micro category we have three types of uh, uh, drone uh, as we proceed ahead uh, you know larger scale category especially in the varuna category we have another four types of drones whereas in between them uh, we also scale up into seven different more categories which is in a payload carrying capacity from 5 kg 10 kg 15 kg 20 kg and up to 50 kg at the same time we have special drones uh, with different weapon capabilities which is which is hip- capable of dropping hand grenades and smoke bombs too for bsf so since you're talking about varuna uh, can uh, as we all know it's a first drone to carry humans uh, throw some light briefly on its unique features so two things uh, first is the home grown technology it's completely indigenous uh, built here in india out of pune chakan facility uh second the complete power management board uh, the battery management systems uh, has been built here so what happens is moment you have to sit and fly and i sit and fly on it regularly uh, when you have a human on board that means your safety comes into play so we have called it in autopilots even at the 50% failure of the power uh, power system the drone would able to land emergency in case of propulsion system failure that means if we have you know drones if you see no drones go from fly in arms and it has 16 different rotors so even a single rotor failing on each arm still the drone would be safely able to land and finally if there is a complete failure there is a parachute to bring you back so defense being the difficult segment to enter how did you manage through market validations a very cool cool question and and when we look at defense uh, it's just you know uh, if you start working with the customer and when we talk about market validation and this is something very difficult because why would uh, arm force do a market validation for you and this is i'm talking pre 2015 13 uh, in lebanon was you know it's 11 years from now that was the time when i was you know had, i was starting up this organization now i was lucky enough i would say that uh, uh, the technology which i developed uh, was able to develop along with the arm force itself so it was the indian navy with whom uh, they gave me that hand holding to work on the technology one work on certain projects and when they gave me that hand to really take it off i did not leave and and this is something uh, which really helps us to grow what we are today because once you have a first prototype going in and being successful the customer itself comes across to you uh, for different parts as the time progressed uh, programs like startup india invest india and now idex has really helped us to take it to the next level great so what are the trends are you seeing in the maritime sector now maritime sector in coming time is is going to be one of the most booming sectors if you look at the sagar mala project which is happening in uh, though india is not a maritime nation but we are trying to have the space ship uh, we are talking about blue economy we are talking about a blue navy uh, across and this certain change in uh, shift has happened due to the whole shift from pacific and atlantic has come across into the ior region now indian ocean region has all of a sudden got very hot that is in terms of oil trades uh, in terms of our neighboring countries so do we, we are compelled to become a maritime nation uh, you know in one scenario if you have to sustain the geopolitics uh, globally if you are looking at it and this gives a very good opportunity for startups like us not only in defense sector but also in the logistics space so what support have you received from the government and uh, can you talk a bit about your collaboration with the government if not what support are you expecting so two things uh, you know we have got a massive support from the government i would say uh, first support i start with the government of maharashtra uh, here is the land uh, okay. so we got at the subsidized rate of what uh, the government gives to other uh, players when we want went for expansion we got another the land not only that ongc itself is a government fund right when we look in oil and natural gas corporation of india when we went across pitched the idea across to them and even the startup fund was not ready then they invested in us as we went across uh, various forums like invest india they have taken us abroad We went to a program called Port Excel in the Netherlands, where we were top 10 maritime startups in the world. 
I was the only Indian, and post me there have been seven different Indians gone across to that program in Europe. Uh, the government of uh, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, there was an accelerator where we were part of it, and where uh, Texas Austin did a business case on us, and they said it's capability beyond imagination of what Sagar Defence Engineering is trying to do if it turns out to be true. Now that business case, when it comes across to US and when you read it, it really gives you a sense uh, of you know accomplishment as well as a sense of motivation that yes, what you are trying to do with this is right. So there has been bits and pieces like this. Uh, there have been strong support in terms of fundings and grants. Uh, we have got mentors uh, from bureaucracy uh, who have supported us uh, time and again. So, so I think Sagar Defence Engineering is a positive case of what government has done until now and what government is uh, doing yet ahead with a very less investments. Of course. So, what is the vision you have for Sagar Defence Engineering going forward? So when you look at Sagar Defence Engineering, I think we are the Teslas of the world, and uh, uh, we we have a technology which is very niche. We have a technology which is very proprietary and sovereign. We believe uh, we could be one of those large players like LNT and uh, Tata in in coming time, especially in the defence uh, sector. And with this vision is what we are dreaming in. Uh, we aim to dream into a factory which could run into 50 acres in coming few years time. And, and that's where uh, we believe Sagar Defence Engineering will not only be uh, a company itself, but an industry of different ecosystems around them uh, across. And we provide employment uh, to people. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Pachi.